All right, hi everyone. I'm Justin, this is Valley Hockey Talk. Today I'm telling you who you should pick up on your waiver wire for your fantasy hockey team. But first I want to thank everyone for watching and remind everyone to please like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. Uh, so anyways, let's get started. Like I always say, you win fantasy through the draft, good trades, starting your best lineups, and through the waiver wire. So the waiver wire is incredibly important. And some of these guys are definitely going to give you the best chance to win this year. Uh, so the first guy on my list must pick up for me is Kyler Yamamoto of the Edmonton Oilers. He is only 7% owned right now, so not too many people own him yet. He's ranked 553 overall on Yahoo, so keep in mind all my numbers are through Yahoo. might slightly differ for years. He has 5 goals, 5 assists, plus 11, and 16 shots on net. So a nice coverage there, and he basically just got called up at the start of January, so he's only been playing for about a month or so, and his numbers have been great. He's almost a point per game, and he's a former first-round pick, guys, so don't forget about that. So he was actually picked number 22 overall in the 2017 by the Edmonton Oilers. The Oilers, if you remember, kind of rushed his development a little bit to begin with. They wanted him in there uh, when things weren't going too great, but now that they've had him playing in Bakersfield the last couple of seasons in the AHL, allowed him to season a little bit, uh, now he's playing up to his true potential, I believe. And he will continue to play well. He's right wing. That might be the only thing preventing you from picking him up because he's only one position. Uh, I'm going to talk about some other dual eligible guys later. Anyways, he's playing with Leon Dreisaitl and Nugent Hopkins on that second line. That second line has provided much needed depth to the Oilers. Uh, previously in the season, it was pretty much just Dreisaitl and McDavid on that top line, getting all the points for the team, basically winning all the games for the team. But since January, uh, you know, Edmonton had a really rough December. They picked up Yamamoto, put him on that second line. He's playing power play minutes as well in the second power play. And he's been great with dry settle Nugent Hopkins, so pick him up right away. Next guy on my list is a rookie as well, Nick Suzuki. Dual eligible center right wing, which definitely helps. Right now, the Habs playing at center with Kotkin Yemi being sent down. Suzuki's only going to get more minutes. Uh, he's only owned in 20% of the league, so not too many people own him. He's ranked 191. He's been really hot lately. This season, he has 10 goals, 23 assists, and he's got 98 shots, which is very good. Uh, like I said, he's been playing on the second line, second line center. He's playing with Kovalchuk and Armia. Kovalchuk has been phenomenal for the Habs so far this season. He's playing very well. And, you know, Suzuki, Armia, they're really good players as well. So that line is definitely going to be productive for the Habs. And he does play on the power play as well. So he's getting power play time. He's getting he's getting top six minutes playing with Kovalchuk. So just a great situation for Suzuki. Uh, he came over in that Pacioretty trade. He's a first round pick. And he's just a phenomenal talent. A lot of fun to watch. So anyway, Suzuki, Yamamoto. So the next guy on my list is Anthony Sorelli. Uh, center for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Right now he's playing on the second line for Tampa Bay, so they obviously have a very dynamic offense, very strong team, and they're finally coming along now to being the team that we thought they would be. So he's actually playing with Palat and Tyler Johnson, which makes up a really nice second line. And he's a really underrated player. He's only owned in 25% of leagues. So, you know, not too many people have him. He's just sitting there waiting to be picked up. And Sorelli is ranked 128 overall, so he's actually got a really good ranking. And he has 13 goals, 25 assists, He's a plus 22, which if you have plus minus in your league is fantastic. 84 shots and 65 hits. So if you actually have a hits league, he's not too bad for that either. So he kind of covers all the categories for you. He's going to play a lot of minutes in the top six. Uh, great pickup, Anthony Sorelli. The next guy on my list is Jake Furtanen, another young player that was probably put into the Canucks lineup too early. Uh, didn't really let him develop properly, but now he's really showing his true colors, showing who he actually is and why he was drafted so high by the Canucks. He's actually playing very well for the Canucks. He's only owned 18% of leagues. He plays right wing. Um, he's playing on the second, first, third line. He's kind of up and down the lineup. Kind of a really good utility player right now, able to go in and out. He plays very hard. He plays physical. Again, if you have a hits league, not too bad. He has 83 hits. He plays a physical style. He's got 15 goals, which is really good. 16 assists. And he's 112 shots. So he gets a lot of shots. He gets hits. He gets all the categories. And he's up and down the lineup. Now, for some reason, he gets sent down to the fourth line or third line for a really long time. And he's not producing. Feel free to drop him. But as long as he's playing with guys like... Horvat or Pedersen or even producing on the third line you should keep them and definitely keep guys when they're on their hot streaks and then drop them later on if they're you know petering off a little bit but Vertanen is definitely a good pickup and he's a very talented player like I said he does have that pedigree and then the last guy on my list here I also have some other players that I'm not including on this list uh, that I'm going to mention too that you should probably pick up or consider at least um, but to Foley I put on this list not because he's playing fantastic right now uh, he's only 9% owned, so not too many people own him. And he's got 14 goals, 16 assists, so not bad so far for a really bad LA team. But the main thing of talking about Toffoli is that he's dual eligible and the fact that he's going to be probably traded within the next few weeks. Very much rumored that he's going to be going to a contender, you know, you know a Calgary or a Boston. So one of these top teams, 
that are either trying to make a push to get in the playoffs or a team that's trying to get them over the hump in the playoffs to try to win that cup. So he's going to be a top six forward probably for whatever team he goes to. He's still a very talented player, still a very talented sniper. Like I said, he's got 14 goals this season on a bad team. And he would be a phenomenal add if you added him before he got traded. That way, the demand for him isn't that high right now. Like I said, he's only owned in 9% of leagues. He's available right now. It might be a little early, but you know, if you have some room, maybe it's good to pick him up or star him, put him on the watch list and keep an eye on him and try to pick him up right away when he does get traded or closer to the trade deadline. Definitely pick him up right before the trade deadline because he will be traded pretty much guaranteed. Now, some other guys that I have on my list, but I didn't write down, include Zach Sanford from the St. Louis Blues. He's on a hot streak right now. He's playing on the top line with Ryan O'Reilly and David Perron. Uh, St. Louis has been a phenomenal team yet again this year. He's center left wing, which is good, dual eligible, and he gets a lot of hits. So he, he's another guy that covers all the categories. And right now he's scoring, getting some assists. He's playing on that first line. I don't know how long it'll last, but he might be worth a pickup if you need a little juice into your lineup. Another guy that I'm talking about uh, picking up maybe uh, Michael Hutchinson. So the Leafs star goaltender Frederick Anderson got injured. We're not really sure how long he's going to be out, but Hutchinson's going to get some games here. The Leafs are still a very good team. They're going to get some wins. I know Hutchinson isn't the greatest goalie, but if you do need a goalie uh, to pick up because of injury or for streaming purposes uh, or just some extra points that week, Hutchinson's probably a good idea. And then Kevin Hayes is playing well for the Philadelphia Flyers. I know he plays on the third line, but he does get first power play unit time. He's been hot lately. Matt Niskanen's also been very hot for the Flyers. And then I mentioned the Leafs, but Zach, uh, Zach Hyman's also a very good pickup playing on that top line uh, with Matthews and Marner. And he's center left wing. He's got 14 goals, 12 assists. So he's having a really good season for himself as well. Uh, so any of these players that I wrote down uh, or just mentioned, I'm also going to write them down in the description of this video. Uh, feel free to pick them up this week, next week. They're going to be definitely good players to pick up, like I said, with injury or if you need a boost to your lineup. And as always, please check out my other videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.